to the dematerialist situation the It's disappointing. Obviously, whenever you're, you know, you're in the position as a manager and you're always, you know, it's an extremely tough business, so you're always looking out for other managers as well. and Because uh, you know the pressures that are faced, and in particular at the big clubs. You know, I think every manager's the pressures, in particular the big clubs, where they, that demand for success is is uh, incredible really so um, now I felt for Robbie because he he went in there and he's done a brilliant job it's it's incredible really that you can win the Champions League and win a cup domestic cup competition and yet find yourself uh, being out of a job and literally and we're talking literally four weeks ago this was a team that was going to win everything everyone enthusing about the quality of their game you know the the quality of the players that was brought in and uh, only a few points off the top challenging at the top end of the the Barclays Premier League by no means out of the, the Champions League and and this is a guy who won the Champions League so he knows how to how to achieve that so it's that's a disappointing day if you're a manager because it it, says it really shows the, the game that we're in now as, as managers where it used to be years ago if you were bottom of the league and you maybe hadn't won 10 games then there was probably a likelihood that you might lose your job now it deems that if you're at the top of the the league and, and even winning trophies you'll lose your job but um, it's sad because Chelsea's a terrific club and they've got terrific players there who have been successful over a number of years and it's uh, as I said it's disappointing when a manager who's achieved so much in a short period of time loses his job so I've I've real empathy for him on the on the Chelsea thing, is it difficult to accept that that kind of pressure that you can win trophies but still find yourself out of a job a few months later? Or do you have to just accept, say, goes with the territory? No, I think Vinny, it's it's a part and, and parcel of the game now. You know, as a, as a manager, at, you know, right the way throughout Europe, British football was always that bit more lenient over the years, but now it it, it seems that um, it's fallen into line with a lot of European. Uh, ways in relation to team managers where you know they don't expect to be at clubs any more than a couple of years you know and then before they would maybe move on so it's like it's quite unique in this country if you are in a job you know the likes of uh, uh, David Moyes and Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger but it's certainly something that, that the longer that a manager if you believe in a manager and you put them in place and you give them that time then what we've shown in this country and what was proven in this country is that that can lead to success. So, uh, but as a manager, you understand that that is the climate now, and 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 when when that's the climate you're in, you have to accept the terms that come with it at times. I suppose a, a, a different kind of pressure. But what concerns do you have over the attention that Raheem has been getting? Yes, no, no, we'll discuss that subject at this press conference. Any other final ones? Thank you.